Welcome to Spyberry. By spy fans, for spy fans. With Shane Whaley. Shane dives into the mystery and intrigue of spy books and movies. Both fact and fiction. Delivering reviews and interviews with authors, historians, intelligence experts, and spy fans. He discusses everything from John Le Carre, Len Dayton, Ian Fleming, Tom Clancy, Brad Thor, and many more. If you love spy books and movies, keep listening. This podcast is for you. This is Spy Prairie. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 73 of the Spy Brewery Spy Podcast. The Roger Moore fan in me wants to tell you 73, the year Live and Let Die came out, but this is not about Live and Let Die. This is about some... Sorry, Jeffrey, I know you got excited then, but I know you're going to love what's coming up. We're going to do something unique in spy podcasts. And you might be thinking there's not that many spy podcasts, but wait till you hear what we've got for you. A good friend of this show and also a contributor to our Facebook group is Professor Penny Fielding from the University of Edinburgh. You will have heard her interview on a previous episode of the show. Now, her and her colleague, Professor Simon Cook, are the two people behind Edinburgh Spy Week, which you've all heard about before as well. It's a prestigious event, happens every year. I'm hoping one of these years I get to go. But they're not here to talk about Spy Week. Did you know they teach a course called Fiction and Espionage? And they teach that to their fourth-year students and to their master's students. Now, I don't know about you, but I think I, I, I could put up with Jane Austen and Billy Shakespeare if I knew I was going to, on the other side, I was going to read about Le Carre and study Dayton and Mick Heron and Cummings and Duns and Monroe. Um, yeah, that's what they teach. It's, it's fantastic. And over the next five episodes, so professors Fielding and Cook ask their students to record for us here at Spybury commentary on aspects of the book. We've also got a couple of interviews, actually. The, the students interview August Thomas, Lias Candle. They interview Ali Monroe, who's the author of Black Bear. They give us commentary on Free Agent, written by another good friend of Spybury, Jeremy Duns. They also look at Trinity Six, Charles Cumming, who's also on our Facebook group, um, and Slow Horses by Mick Heron. So these are all coming up over the next couple of weeks. Today, Penny and Simon are going to just explain to you very briefly what the course was about, what it entailed. And in a couple of days' time, I'll, I'll release episode one. It'll be Free Agent. Jeremy Dunn's, which was a book I, I really enjoyed. And I think you're going to enjoy the commentary from the students. I will just say one thing, please, barbarians. Bear in mind that two things. First of all, these students are really good. They're sharp. They're bright. I, I, I'll be out of a job. By the time you hear these next five episodes, you're going to be like, get out that host chair. Give the job to those guys and girls up in Edinburgh because they did a much better job than you. Seriously, it, it's really good commentary. Um, the second thing I want to point out, the you know, bear in mind, they're not in a studio, right? So I'm very lucky that I have the Patreon account. Thank you to all our supporters, spybury.com forward slash supporters, uh, if you want to find out more. So I've got a good mic. I've got good editing software. I've got a good mixer, right? And I use all the Patreon money to pay for this equipment. Our students don't don't have that. So I'm going to use some ninja editing tricks that I've learned over the last two years. Two years, can you believe it? We're almost at the two-year anniversary. Or maybe, we, maybe we've, we've passed it. I'll have to check with Rob Mallows, episode one. But the stuff I've learned in the last two years, uh, I, I will try and tweak it. But just bear with me, okay? I mean, the content is really worth sticking. Um, you know, stick with it. It's worth listening to. And, and I'm very, very grateful to the fourth year of master's students at the University of Edinburgh for, for putting these together for us because they truly are the spybrarians of the future. So without further ado, I'm going to cross over to Edinburgh, to Scotland, to Penny and Simon. Oh. 
I'm Penny Fielding. And I'm Simon Cook. And we are two of the organisers of Edinburgh Spy Week, which is a series of talks and interviews and films and other events here at the University of Edinburgh and throughout the city that we hold every April. And we're just preparing for our sixth Spy Week uh, as we record this. Simon and I are also organisers and teachers of a course called Fiction and Espionage, which can be taken by our fourth year students and also by our master's students. And the course sets out to look at espionage fiction in the 20th century and right up to the present. So we start with some classics that many people would expect to be on the course. Uh, we look, to look at Rudyard Kipling's Kim and talk about how spying was used as a form of knowledge uh, in the empire. We look at Conrad's The Secret Agent and think a little bit about terrorism in relation to that course and try and think about those texts in relation to their historical moment in the early 20th century. Yes, that's right. And alongside some of the, the classics of spy fiction, we have some books which perhaps don't appear on every uh, list of favourite spy novels, uh, such as uh, Muriel Sparks' The Hot House by the East River, a very uh, avant-garde experimental text set in the Cold War that uh, engages with the questions of how we remember the Second World War and with questions of black propaganda. We also look at the late modernist uh, Elizabeth Bowen's The Heat of the Day set in the uh, Second World War, uh, trying to look really at the way that um, espionage uh, plays a role and um, is uh, a, a, an important feature of a great many uh, fictions uh, in the 20th century that might not necessarily seem to be the, the first books you think of when you look at spy fiction. Yeah, we call it fiction and espionage rather than spy novels because we don't make a distinction between popular fiction or you know, literary fiction or whatever you might want to call that other category. So we look at you know, literary novelists like Muriel Spark and of course we also look at um, Graham Greene, uh, Le Carre features heavily and uh, even Fleming. And we end up, we go right to the present day and uh, our last text, and this is the first time we've taught the course, so we might change this text uh, each year, is uh, James Robertson's The Professor of Truth, uh, 2013 novel uh, about Lockerbie, and the, the Lockerbie Inquiry. And part of this course, a really important part, is that the students make podcasts. So we, we think, you know, we want what we ask our students to do is to, to interview um, a number of contemporary novelists who have uh, engaged with spy fiction um, to ask them questions about how the issues we've been talking about across the course, questions of empire, of terrorism, of war, of, of genre, of, of memory, and all of these different uh, issues uh, play out in their own work. Um, so we're not asking them to do uh, a kind of a review as such. We're asking them to really engage with the the text and, and what the what the novelists are, are trying to do um, in in thinking through questions about es fiction and espionage. Um, so yes, we we have these four uh, podcasts that are five five yeah. five, five podcasts um, that our students have done, which are you know we, we're really really delighted to, to listen to, to these uh, the, the results of these really fascinating interviews and or, or commentaries and discussions about these these four. Yes, yeah, that's right. So. Uh, as Simon says, they're not reviewing the novels. We asked them specifically not to say whether they thought they were good or bad, because they're all good. Yeah. Uh, because they're novels by uh, people who've appeared at Spy Week before. So uh, they're authors that we know. And uh, the authors very generously offered to be interviewed by our students, some by Skype, uh, some by email, uh, one in person because mm. she lives in Edinburgh. So it really, it was really good for us to get the students involved with the ongoing work of spy fiction and to meet you know, either in person or over a phone line, you know, some of the authors that have been coming to Spy Week over the years. And to think about how the work that those authors are doing now can reflect back on the historical themes of the course. So we might look at novels written by women. Oh, we might think about how spy novels might have a distinctive style and can they be funny. On the course, we had uh, Our Man in Havana by Graham Greene, and we also had uh, Mick Heron being interviewed by our students, uh, 
who'd read Slow Horses. So we try to strike a balance between the the modern uh, novels and the novels that the students will have read over the course. So there's been a very useful exercise, I think, and it's made the course a little bit different, very interesting for us. Uh, and it's particularly good for us to tie in all the elements of uh, how we work in spy fiction. So what yeah. we do as teachers and researchers, uh, what we do with Spy Week, and we're particularly glad to have this uh, relationship with Spybury, so yeah, we can is. we can create the uh, spy readers of the next generation. Yeah, indeed. So thank you to Spybury and also to our students for putting together these wonderful podcasts and to the authors who've taken part. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Simon, for that wonderful introduction to this excellent series, these sessions that we're going to air here on Spybury. I will air them weekly, okay? So over the next five weeks, we're going to hear about Trinity Six by Charles Cumming, Liar's Candle by August Thomas, uh, Slow Horses by Mick Heron, Black Bear by Ali Munro, and next up is our friend of this show, Mr. Jeremy Duns, and the students are going to dig into his book, Free Agent, which is the first of four books all about a character called Paul Dark. I'm really excited to bring you this episode because you know what? I read the first two and then I got distracted and that's an occupational hazard of Spybury, <laughs> of hosting Spybury. I get such wonderful recommendations. So uh, I need, yeah, 2019, I'm getting back to Paul Dark, okay? Uh, I really would urge you all to join the Facebook group. If you haven't already, we can discuss the sessions, we can discuss the thoughts of our Younger Spybarians, um, it's a great place to be. And we even have people who didn't want to join Facebook, but did just join the group to take part in the group because it, it's a wonderful community where we talk about spy books, movie, TV, spy characters, writers, etc. Everything is in there that every spy fan needs. So give it 24 hours or so. Make sure you're subscribed to Spybury and we're going to bring you the next installment of the, the, the series, which is Jeremy Dunn's Free Agent. Thanks for listening to the Spybrary Podcast. You don't have to wait for the next episode. Join the conversation happening now at facebook.com slash spybrary and on Twitter at spybrary.com.